Okay. You know, the other thing is, uh, oh, we need to reset it. I'll let you keep scoring. I'll reset it. Or, um, Sam, can you do the reset on the buzzer for the game? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah. You want to just sit here, like, on the edge, and then after, you know, like, when they answer, or you've already run it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> now I know why you got the next. Public Library, and we are thrilled to be hosting uh, the first ever uh, Battle of the Books featuring our outstanding middle schools, uh, Hardy, It's reversed from my end because I went stage. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, oldest driver in town, etc. So, sorry, I'm going a little off script. It's early. Oh, that's okay. fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, basically, where's the trophy? The trophy is still at um, the engraving place. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the winning school will receive this trophy, <laughs> which they will have to keep on display. We can digitally edit it in later. It's going to look awesome. Um, which they can keep on display in their school until the next year, and maybe if they win it again two years consecutively. I don't know. We'll see who's going to bring the heat today. It was too so, big to bring. That's <laughs> uh, so our two teams are competing against each other over ten books that they have both read, and we're going to play two rounds of a Jeopardy-style game. You guys are totally prepared, right? Yes? Oh, wow. I am feeling real confident on, on your behalf. <laughs> Um, and in addition to the traditional questions, we also have uh, dueling book talks, which are hidden on the board. And um, when the dueling book talks pop up, uh, a team member from each side will have a one, minute? one minute. We'll have one minute to present a cohesive, uh, engaging book talk on um, on the book, whichever is going to be presented, and we'll find out what that is on the board. Let's see. Uh, and everyone is prepared, everyone's ready to go. We'll find out when those are going to happen. And so basically, as far as the rules go, any team member can buzz in to answer a question. However, if you buzz in, I will stop reading the question the moment that you buzz. And also, if you personally buzz in, you may not receive help from your teammates in answering the question. You have to answer it on your own. I will say that an incorrect answer will not result in negative points. So you at least have that going for you, but no one's going to answer incorrectly, are you guys? Real quick question, because my team wondered too. If Garfield buzzed in and got the answer wrong, are, is Harding able to... Yeah, Sam will clear it, and then whoever buzzes in next will get the chance to steal. Okay, so just like we thought, right, and your team knows that as well, that yeah. if Harding messes Good. up the question, and you guys really know it, wait for a second, because it's coming to you, okay? All right, is everybody ready to go? Sure. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at today's categories, which are author, author, <laughs> big top burning, ghost, scar island, spoilers, dust jackets and covers. All right, and I will select the first question. Uh, teams, get ready to buzz in. Does it matter what question I select? No, nope. it's your choice. All right, then. Um, I'm a big fan of symmetry, so let's do uh, Scar Island for 300 to start off. The question is, what holds back the sea? And Sophia? The hatch. Answer is correct, the hatch. <laughs> and we're at the board. Um, now they get to choose. Yes. <laughs> Whatever student chose correctly, then you are the, or I'm sorry, the answer correctly, then you should choose that one, okay? okay. All right, go ahead, Sophia, and choose the next question. Author, author, 200. Author, author for 200. The question is, who is the author of El Defo? Not working. Clear it, Sam. Seriously. Oh, oh. Excuse me, Bill. And that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had one job. 
job. <laughs> Author, author, 500. Author, author, author for 500. The question is... Who? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. It's John Fleischman. John. Ooh, no. judges? John Fleischman. No, sorry. <sighs> so you answered close. it. You answered it. But yeah, I know. No. They well, accidentally went to that screen. I'm sorry. So okay. So do we just get that? Do we just take that? No. <laughs> <laughs> That was what I said, you know, there might be a little mistakes Please here. Please deduct points for treachery. Right. Yes. This is, this is, Harding did not get the points, though. That was No points. Um, and, and it's back that, to Garfield. All right, so we'll go ahead and Please. You can select the next question. Okay. Um, Scar Island 400. Scar Island for 400. And the question is, ooh, dueling oh. book talks for Scar Island. All right. right. Uh, who is going to represent? Yeah. All right, Miss Emma. Uh, and uh, Griffin chose, so he's going to go ahead and go first. Come on up. There you go. Slugpunch is a cold, dreary place, perfect for Jonathan and all the other scabs of civilization to live in. But only a day later, all the adults are dead from a freak accident. Power goes to the head of some boys, and what was supposed to be a democracy turns into a dictatorship. Jonathan is also determined to find out the mystery of Slabhenge after finding the hidden tunnels. From a hidden library to a trapped, bloodthirsty beast, Jonathan struggles to figure out the mystery of Slabhenge and not die in the process. Very nice. Very nice. If extra points were available, I would award them for flair and presentation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go for it. In society, we can all work together. But when people tear at the fabric of our society, it can all go wrong. These people who tear down what we built are scars. Scars that live among us. Jonathan Grisby is one of these scars. In Dan Gavinhart's Scar Island, he finds himself at Slabhenge Reformatory School for Troubled Boys. It's damp, dark, and miserable. Will Jonathan make it through? Read Scar Island to find out. Very nice. <laughs> I love this. All right, let's hear uh, what our judges have to think and who will be awarded the points. Um, I do think. Our judges need to make a very quick snap decision. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Garfield chooses again. Author, author for 400. Author, author for 400. Hey, that's my job. Author, author for 400. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Answer, correct? Correct. All right. You know, I don't have... I in order play. to give the other team the opportunity to steal in the event that the answer is correct. No, no, that's true. I'll let Thank you. All right. Well done. Correct answer. Ironing out those kinks as we go along. All right. Go ahead and choose again. Um, let's do author, author, 300. Author, author for 300. <laughs> All right. That's Gordon Foreman. Gordon Corman. Correct. Correct. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys get to choose again. Oh. Author, author, woman. Clearing the author, author, uh, tab for mm -hmm. uh, oh. April Henry. Yes. Correct. <laughs> I can't snipe you guys. Oh, it's gotta be just All right. You're up. Okay. All right. Go ahead and choose the next question. Alright, Ghost for 300. What is the word Patty used to describe Lou? I'm pretty sure time's up. Yeah. 
Yeah, they just got that 500. So we're at 2,000 to 2,500. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to round two. Yes? Would you start off since we got the, or would you still pick? Miss Vicka picks for okay. the beginning. Thank you. Great question. <laughs> Serenity is a small, perfect town where everyone knows everyone else. Everyone has a pool, a tree house, nice houses, and perfect food. Everything is great, until Eli finds out he can't leave. Then, it's a race to figure out the truth. Eli and his friends, Tori, Malik, Amber, and Hector, with the help of clues left by a former citizen, Randy, start to find out more about their lives than their parents ever wanted them to. Through observation, breaking and entering, and puzzle solving, these five friends get ready to forget everything they thought they knew about their lives. or an action-packed book from start to finish, The Masterminds by Gordon Corbett is the book for you. It all starts in a perfect town called Serenity, New Mexico. <laughs> it's a perfect town. Every house is the same and everybody knows everyone. Until Eli and Randy have to step out of town. This is when everything begins to change. wild goose chase to find out who they are and what's different about their town. And then what happens? Yeah. <laughs> that's a minute. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can go ahead and choose again. Phineas, page 400. Phineas, 
engaged for 400, and the question is... Another dueling oh. book! Oh. Yes. Oh. All right, uh, representative from Garfield to go first. to give information and shows Phineas Gage's life after the accident. The iron hit him under the cheek and went in his head through the frontal and through the frontal lobe of the brain. He survived because the Tampa air did not hit anything vital. However, it severely changed his personality and look on life because of where it hit in his brain. He grew more apathetic about life and did not speak much either after the accident. Well done. Cheyenne is waiting in the car while her mom is in the store when she hears someone get in the car. 
She's not sure what is going on at first, but after a while she realizes the car is being stolen, with her in it. When the robber finally realizes that she's in there, he's not sure what to do with her, so he takes her with him to his home. As the robber and his dad decide to let her go or to keep her, they come across certain information. Cheyenne's dad works for the huge business, Nike. Now with no anticipation of letting Cheyenne go until they get the ransom money they want, Cheyenne will have to escape herself. Will Cheyenne escape? Will she ever see home or family again? Maybe. But there's one problem that will get in her way. Not only is Cheyenne very sick with pneumonia, but for the past three years of her life, Cheyenne has been blind. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing mine in first person. Uh, fantastic. Do you have a stool? Sure. There you go. Hi, my name is Cheyenne. Um, and so in my book, Girl Stolen by April Henry, I am being kidnapped by Griffin. He is also taking my mother's car. And with my, um, and with my shoelaces, he ties my ankles and wrists together. So the thing is, I have pneumonia and I'm blind, so even if I do want to escape, it's going to be super hard. So read my book to find out if I escape or tragically die. <laughs>
Pardon? Pointer? Yes. That is correct. How much was that? Two more. That's what we're paying for. That is a board. Um, go ahead and choose the next question. Girls stolen, one hundred. Girls stolen to clear. Girls stolen off the board for one hundred. The question is, what object did you use to cigarette letter? Correct. Correct. Garfield takes the board back. Griffin, choose. Uh, close reading, four hundred. Close reading for four hundred. In what book were dental records used to identify people? Yes. It's upper. Correct. That is correct. <laughs> a smattering of polite applause. Griffin, choose the next category. Masterminds for 100. Sorry. Clearing masterminds for 100. And the question is what drink is in the box bar at the Sophia? Sorry? Gatorade. Correct. Gatorade is correct. What? Everything good? Yeah. If you want to be slow, go ahead and choose the next question. Um, important quotes 100. Important quotes for 100. Sometimes people did this, closed their eyes and for a few seconds and imagined them. Yes. Answer is El Defo. Incorrect. Girl stolen. Correct. Correct. Wait, once again, sorry. That was 100. Thank you. Um, Go ahead, choose the next Important quotes, 200. Important quotes for 200. It'll kill him, but it'll take another 11. Oh, if Phineas Gage. Correct. Phineas Gage is correct. Well done. Go ahead and choose the next category. Um, let's do details for 300. Details for 300. For what tribe was Sitting Bull the chief? Timer, timer. Yes. <laughs> um, it, it, Dakota? Incorrect. Incorrect. Garfield, you have an opportunity to steal. Sitting Bull's tribe kill at the Battle of Little Bighorn. 